Well, I, I really had no idea how many benefits fasting has, like intermittent fasting can give you until I started doing it. And obviously, like the first reason I started doing it was for weight loss. You know, I was like, okay, got it. Something's got to give. I've tried all the fad diets. Like, let's let's just kind of talk about that. So obviously, that helped. And then I saw, you know, increased energy. Like all these benefits started coming. So, what are some of the benefits people will see? Like, obviously, weight loss is one of them. But what are some of the other benefits people will see from intermittent fasting? Yeah, for me, it was really healing my body. And so I had thyroid issues. I had skin issues. So like the more I fast, you know, my skin, any kind of psoriasis or eczema that you're using, you know, or that you have is going to be helped. Um, Even things like aches and pains in your body. So like you know, my one friend had an Achilles injury and she, for a year, she was like, her Achilles hurt. She couldn't do anything. She actually went on a five day fast, which don't panic if you're listening to this, but she went on a five day fast and she said her Achilles has never been better. Her Achilles is better than it was before she had that injury. So it's really a matter of just massive, massive amounts of, of healing. I think increased you said weight loss, but besides weight loss, it's increased fat burning. Mm -hmm. And so it's, again, it's because your body doesn't have the sugar. So besides a regular, some kind of diet, it's massive amounts of fat burning. The other thing is lowered blood insulin and sugar levels. So before I started doing fasting, I would wake up in the morning and I would check, I was actually pre-diabetic. Um, I was like pre, pre pre-diabetic. So I'd wake up in the morning and I would test my blood sugar. My blood sugar was at like a 99, 98, 99, almost every morning when I was waking up. And if you're a hundred or over, you're a hundred to like 120, you're considered pre-diabetic. So I was right on that borderline of being pre-diabetic. And so now that I've been doing fasting, my blood sugar is more stable than it's ever been. And my blood sugar is when I wake up is around more like the 70 or 80 mark, which is phenomenal. Um, so it, it can reverse. I've seen people who it's completely reversed their type two diabetes. Um, you know, when I fast, the more I fast, I feel like it improves mental clarity, concentration, um, what other things can, oh, inflammation. That's a big yeah. one. I yeah, would say inflammation. A lot of people talk about that. I'll tell you the really strange thing. And this was, this was hard for me to wrap my mind around. And then when it started happening, I actually had more energy when I wasn't, wasn't eating. And I think what I found was when I was eating, when I shouldn't have been eating, cause I wasn't really hungry. My body didn't need the fuel. I was so tired all the time. And when I stopped eating, when I wasn't really hungry, I actually had so much more energy. Like I was like, this is so crazy. I'm not eating, but I have way more energy. So that was something I noticed that happened to me when I, when I did, when I started doing it. And I know like a lot of people listening about inter- like that are first listening, hearing about intermittent fasting, they say like, won't I just get really, really hungry if I start skipping meals and then I'm going to eat a whole lot more. Like this doesn't make any sense to me. And I know I was very skeptical at the very beginning. I was like, there is no way I am not eating you know, skipping a meal or whatever. So what would you say to people like that, that are just like, are you kidding me? Then I'm just going to eat more food. Like this is not going to work for me. Yeah. I mean, it's like you're skipping meal. You're not skipping meals to deprive or punish yourself. It's you are skipping a meal because you're fasting. And, you know, the thing is, is there's so many benefits to it. And I think that people are like, the biggest thing I hear is they're like, I'm going to, I'm going to be hungry. And they're like panicked. Like, oh my gosh, if I'm hungry, like call 911, you know? (laughs) And I, I, you know, one of the things I love to do is interview people who've been thin their whole life, don't have bondage to food. And we just went out to lunch with Catherine Muldoon, Mm -hmm. who was Miss Virginia. And her, I have an interview of her and she says, her exact words are, I love being hungry because I can literally feel the fat coming, like eating at my body. Mm -hmm. So it's like, she's excited. She's like, Oh, I'm hungry. Guess what that means? My body is burning the fat. And so she gets excited. So it's that difference of mindset here. This guy over here is like, Oh my gosh, I'm hungry. What are we going to do? You know, call 911. And here over here, she's like, woohoo, I'm burning fat. And so that's what it is, is that kind of mindset where you're saying to yourself, 
this is not a, this is a good thing this is not a bad thing and the the whole thing is is if you start looking at that laundry list that we talked about earlier of why it's so beneficial and how your body loves to fast that your body your body needs a break everything if you think about it like i when I'm starting to get too tired, I realize I'm just like the phone. You know how when your phone doesn't work and it's like bogged down, what do I always do? My very first reaction is to shut it down and mm -hmm. then reboot it. And that's what fasting is. It's a shutdown. Your body constantly getting food, getting food, getting food is insanity. And doing, you know, 24-hour fast, 48-hour fast on a regular basis is magical for your body. It truly is. And, you know, I, I get annoyed. I have a friend of mine who is like, well, I just can't do more than a 24 hour fast. I will just melt down. And so sometimes I have to say to her, what you're, you will get through this. Like you will be fine. You're you, this is a good thing. And, and you have to know your body. You have to know kind of when enough is enough. Um, but at the same time, you also want to push yourself. You want to push yourself to a little bit more stretch yourself and say, you know what? My body, this is when my body cleanses. This is when it reboots. This is when it shuts down and comes back up. Yeah. 